Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So glad to be back. The last video was so much fun. I did it with my besties. And <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna try and do something. So guys, I'm just doing a story time about my birth experience. Not so much at the hospital, but like having a child and so on. Say hi, Oli. Hi, Oli. Hello. How are you? Wow, good. Um, guys, this is my son, Isa. Sit still. Sit still. Um, okay. So, guys, this is my son. He has some lipstick on. Did you? Where's lipstick? Lipstick. <laughs> wow, that's one of the perks of having a child. So, guys, I had my son while I was still doing my meeting. Um, but obviously, we did the meeting part time and we worked. Um, during the day sorry about that it's fine so um, what had happened was I was doing my B-Tech um, and I was also working but I stopped working and just you know I decided okay because I was supposed to take maternity leave and then my maternity leave um, got extended to me just saying okay fine I'll try again when he's born and I've had some time um, yeah with my child and also school you know during the evenings we had some retake classes that we had to attend and guys it was tricky and he's born in Feb meaning that you know varsity usually opens like around Feb and all of that so he's born um, in Feb and obviously that was tricky for me because I was still heavily heavily pregnant because he was due like any time in um in feb and varsity opened let's say about the 12th i think um yes and i gave birth to him on the 22nd of feb yes yes boy say something 22nd of hello okay so i gave birth to him on the 22nd of feb and it was quite interesting because what happened was i had to Yes, Oli. Fine. Okay. A phone. A phone. Hello. A phone. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, um, I gave birth to him on the 22nd of of Feb, and um, varsity was open at that time, and yeah, I had to ask a few of my friends to do some work for me because obviously I was um going to pull behind on my work to just get, get some notes that we needed obviously in the beginning of you know the opening of varsity things are quite slow so it wasn't that stressful because um things were still slow you know that we're getting to know our lecturers and all of that um so it was still okay but then you know there were assignments and because obviously i gave him birth but then i wasn't ready to go back to school because i had given birth c-section yes i think i have a story um yeah just look for a story i think it's one of my first videos that i did a birth story video um yeah so just look for that video and yeah so i gave birth to this little one which is not so little anymore um and then i just asked my friends um to just you know what take some work for me and help me with the assignments and all of that because i wasn't ready because i had a c-section okay so fast forward c-section is okay he's also growing meaning that i can go to varsity and attend classes at, at some point i think it was two weeks in here guys i quickly snapped back and because i knew the things that i had to do and at some point i did consider you know i'm uh, postponing to another you know what do you call semester or whatever the case may be but then i was like no uh -huh. let me just try and pull it out and if i can't then that's when i can say okay i really cannot i'm just quitting it's all right but i had that fighting spirit in me so i was still attending class and i think it was what three months or two two months two months eh? yeah two months two months i think it was two months and then that's when um, he got sick, he had some lung infection and all of that because um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I really don't understand where it stemmed from and what was the issue. But then we had to be in hospital again. Um, so I had to still, you know, try and do my assignments while in hospital. And you know, if you are the mom, you are the one that stays in the hospital. But Shane, my husband was there like almost every day after work. And if he didn't have class, he'd come to us and see us. And we stayed 
stayed in the hospital for like I think a month and sometimes in and out because we think he's fine and then we go to his pediatrician then he'd be like okay I think I need to just do some more tests and obviously just the process of I don't know what they actually do but they will do something to his chest like slap it a bit for the mucus to come out or whatever the case may be and yeah i think that went on for about two months so i was still in hospital in between um i couldn't leave him so i still had to i couldn't attend any classes and i still had to trust on my friends um to to give me the work and to tell me and also move to tell me what was needed if we attended the same class or if we had the same class and yeah so i had that experience i was in hospital and i still remember i don't know i think Kay had bought her car or something and i was in hospital still you know and then they i think they came back from class or were going to class it was her sia and aya and they just came to the hospital and i had like a moment where i ran out of the hospital I was like to the nurse please just you know i take care of my son i'm running out because obviously no visitors were allowed because of the intensity of his sickness because it's like a lung infection so you don't want the environment to keep on changing so yeah i had to run out quickly and go celebrate with Kay because she had bought her new car and i ran out of the hospital and yeah i did the whole thing and then i had to run back to the hospital and yeah, but after that it was smooth sailing you know i don't have that experience of like a cry baby my baby never cried shit he never cried he never like gave us problems in like the first month he used to sleep and people would be like we, we, we wouldn't even guess there's a baby in this house um because he was so quiet and then yeah as he grew he then grew up and got a personality of his own so now he's grown and yeah he hasn't been sick except for those times yeah that we had to stay in hospital he hasn't been sick and i think my highlights of having like a child are obviously the fact that you have someone to repeat your words when you say <laughs> you have someone to push you around and obviously guys like seeing yourself through someone like because we all will do things but you know that oh that's me like that's me um he'll repeat like the behavior i think that's why it's so important um for us to do good and not say good because sometimes you will be like oh i told him not to do that but if you do it he'll also do it because i have this thing like it's not even um like a conscious thing but when i speak i like to say chini which is not really rude if like i'm saying it because i put it in context like of other things so i put it with like other things or if i'm making a joke or whatever but now ollie would be like telling and i'm just like excuse me um but yeah and also i think money we were looking and we were searching who uses money all the time and my husband told me what he actually is you're the one that uses money and i'm like yo because you'll say telling that no money and you're like dude that's not how you're supposed to talk to your parents or whatever but it has been very nice he's such a sweet baby is that how like he is a is a is a what is a is a is a is a he's such a sweet baby guys and he's really huh a baby yes and yeah he speaks a lot just like his mom just like his mom Ali, is that is that let's sing please let us sing sing a song is that we're singing a song when i think and a book and a bing 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 No, 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 we're not ending this video today. I just want to tell you, they quite expensive, these people. Um, yeah, because obviously he got sick and we had to, like, medication and stuff. So please save, if you can, while you're pregnant, just save for the child, you know. Save for the things that you'll need so that you guys don't get stressed and you don't, like, um, get stressed because of finances and all of that. So, yes, please save and... Just make sure you do good financially. Just prepare as much as you can because it becomes very stressful because there's a lot of things that just come out of nowhere. And 
yeah i hope you enjoyed the story time guys he's trying to do something that i'm trying to stop him from doing so you can just imagine i'm talking to you but i'm trying to stop something from happening um anyway enjoy see you next week please subscribe like and comment and just you know what share whatever you have if you are mom just tell me how it has been for you if there's any surprises that you got um thank you very much guys see you next time